Are you looking for the absolute best computer to run Xactimate X1 on? In this video, find out what makes a great property claims laptop, if you should buy a high-end gaming PC, which computers not to buy, and hear from Xactware themselves about what specifications Xactimate X1 needs so that you can run claims like a champ. Starting now. This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters first. This video is sponsored by Xactware Training, the creators of Xactimate X1 and Xactimate Mobile. Get certified as an Xactimate expert right now at the link in the description below. And by Hague Education. Use code ADJUSTERTV to get a 15% discount on damage assessment, CE training, industry certifications, books, and tools at HagueEducation.com. And by Kaplik. Learn all about E&O and other insurance for adjusters at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. Hey, Matt here. Welcome to Adjuster TV, where I share my more than 20 years of experience as a cat property IA to help you build a rewarding career as an independent insurance adjuster so that you can help people during natural disasters and earn a great living doing it. Okay, what makes a laptop good for the desktop version of Xactimate X1? Well, first of all, it really needs to be a laptop, unless there is absolutely zero chance that you'll want to do anything in Xactimate outside of your home, you'll want to choose a laptop over a desktop computer. Being portable allows you to attend in-person trainings, work in places inside your house other than your office, work in the park or the coffee shop, and most importantly, work in the field. So we're gonna talk laptops in this video. But before we do that, you can now get your official Xactimate user certifications through Adjuster TV, even if you have never used Xactimate before. Join one of our Xactimate certified trainers on our next live online class at adjustertv.com slash prep. And as a special bonus to this training, you'll also learn Xactimate mobile. Sign up now at adjustertv.com slash prep. And so I like to use those examples, uh, that metaphor of a kitchen as a metaphor for a computer. Specifically speaking, if we look at counter space, right? If you've ever been in an apartment or a condo, the counter space is where you do the work. It's where you're actively preparing food, you're actively working. And so a computer has RAM and the RAM is essentially what it's going to be doing, uh, when it's gonna be running things kind of consistently, what, it, what it's working on in the moment. It's the memory that the computer uses to actually do work. And so it's a little bit like the counter space of a kitchen. The more space you have, the more projects you can be handling, uh, the more, more things you can be doing in the kitchen. You can have one section of the counter set up for one thing. You could even have some kids doing homework on another section of the counter. And it's the same thing with a computer. The more RAM there is, the more actual space you have to get things done. Um, on the other hand, uh, computers also have some other requirements. Uh, one of those is like hard drive space. Hard drive space is a little bit more comparable to either the, the doors in the cabinets or the pantry, for example. You need that to store long-term your plates, your dishes, my wife's china, uh, right? Uh, we even have one of those junk drawers. I think I used that when we were talking, I think we talked about the junk drawer it's always in a kitchen. Um, but again, the pantry, you store your food, you store a lot of things. The more space you have in cabinetry and in, in pantry space, the more room you have to actually store stuff. And, and you can you know, set it aside, you can come back to it later. And in computer terms, that's a lot more like the hard drive space. Um, the hard drive space is really, it, it's important in a lot of ways. Um, but again, if you don't have a lot of hard drive space, you're not saving much on that machine. Um, it's gonna it's gonna hamper your ability to have lots of programs, lots of photos, lots of videos. You won't be able to do that. Um, all those things are storage. So now the the fourth or other op option that I talked about was like the power and the uh, appliances that the kitchen might have. That's you know you might have tons of uh, uh, countertop space, you might have tons of pantry space, but if you're working off of a little Bunsen burner, uh, you're going to be limited in in how much you can cook and and what you you know what kind of dishes you can create. I, uh, I was in college and I had one of those little toaster ovens and I, uh, you know, I got a lot of, a lot of use out of that, but it, I was not making any, you know, major dishes, you know, I wasn't making Thanksgiving turkey right there. Um, and it's the same thing with the computer. The computer in this case has a CPU or in, in many cases these days, they have a GPU as well, which is the, the CPU is the brain. The GPU is the graphics brain. Um, <clears throat> 
the more uh, strength and or more robustness of a GPU, CPU you have, um, that's the more, just like an appliance, that's the more actual thinking and, and doing cooking power that your computer has to essentially run a lot of heavy stuff in the moment. It's less the counter space. Counter space is more prep um, and, and temporary storage. It's more what are we cooking right now, right? Um, if you have two separate drawers, you can cook a lot in very, you know, very little time because you've got two separate ovens, two separate drawers that you can use. So how does that all apply to your new computer? You have your countertop, which is RAM, AKA the memory that your computer uses while it's running applications. Xactimate X1 as of April, 2023, needs at least 16 gigs of RAM to be happy. For your cabinets and pantry, AKA your hard drive storage, you'll need at least 30 gigs of hard drive space for that Xactimate application. Most non-notebook laptops these days come with at least 512 gigs of hard drive space, and almost all of them are solid state drives. You will use more than 30 gigs of that hard drive space with photos and other file data that Xactimate X1 uses, as well as other applications that you choose to run on your work computer. For example, Microsoft Office and your web browser, which will also store a lot of files in their cache, and that takes up hard drive space. To be safe, I personally would opt for at least a terabyte of storage space on your hard drive. For a number of reasons, do not get an HDD or hard disk drive because it's an actual spinning disk and those are susceptible to damage and failure much more so than the SSD drives, the solid state drives that have no moving parts. Just imagine driving down a bumpy dirt road on your way to a claim while trying to listen to a record on a record player. Never mind that a solid state hard drive will make your computer do things a lot faster. Now, as far as the appliances in your kitchen that you use to cook with and prepare food, AKA your CPU and your GPU, you wanna get something that's better than fast enough. And in this case, an i5 processor is fast enough, but to give your computer more guts to run Xactimate, with other applications going at the same time, again, like your browser and Microsoft Word, you'll wanna get a computer with an i7 processor or the equivalent AMD processor that has at least four cores. The GPU is a separate graphics processor chip, and it's what your computer uses to display video and graphics, and Xactimate's gonna use your GPU to display 3D models in Sketch. Xactimate X1 currently needs at least 512 megabytes of VRAM in your computer's GPU, but you can find a computer that has two gigs or even four gigs of VRAM for less than a thousand bucks. More power here helps you work faster, and it also gives you a little room to grow and handle future Xactimate updates. But the internal specs aren't the whole story. Whatever you end up getting, you need to make sure that at the minimum, your new PC has both kinds of USB ports and has a dedicated SD card slot. A snapshot camera that uses an SD card is still by far the fastest way to get photos into Xactimate short of using Xactimate Mobile. So that's all well and good, but it might be just as helpful to talk about which computers not to get. Sadly, as of spring 2023, Xactimate X1 desktop does not run on Apple Mac laptops in Mac OS. Yes, you can run Parallels or Boot Camp and it works just fine, but I'll explain why I don't recommend using a Mac at this time for field claims in just a moment. The next computer that I strongly do not recommend is any kind of notebook, Chromebook, Surface, anything that's kind of like a computer tablet hybrid, you need a real computer that's designed for more than just endless scrolling on social media. By that same token, iPads and Android devices cannot be used to run Xactimate X1 desktop. You must have an actual laptop to run full claims as an adjuster at this time. iPads, tablets, and even your phone can be used to work with X1, but most i firms and carriers will require you to use the desktop version of Xactimate X1 to run claims. I also don't recommend that you spend more than 1500 bucks on a laptop. You do not need a high-end gaming PC or even a higher spec business machine. And this is also why I don't recommend that you use an Apple laptop. Why? Couple reasons. Number one, Xactimate just isn't going to use all that extra horsepower. You're buying extra power that you're not going to need or use. And number two, and probably more importantly, as I mentioned previously when talking about solid state hard drives, Unless your computer never leaves your desk, you know, a f nice, flat, stable, unmoving surface, and your lap is not a desk, 
unless your computer never leaves your desk ever, it's going to get beat up, pure and simple. Riding around in the car with all the small and big vibrations, taking it in and out of your laptop bag, bumping it against the door frame, knocking it around at the coffee shop, taking it into the insurance house to go over estimates or do large loss inspections. As soon as that or any tool you use for claims moves, it can be damaged. Never mind sitting in a 140 degree car while you're out climbing roofs. But Matt, I don't want to write up claims at the house. I do all my computer work back at the hotel room so my computer will never leave a desk. Incorrect. You will need your computer with you at all times when you're working because you'll get calls during the day from insureds and contractors who want to discuss specific claims details. Your manager will call you and ask you to open up a specific claim. And if you're being as efficient as possible, you want to be able to take care of corrections when you get them and not at 11 p.m. And this also goes for you if you're working as a team. As the lead adjuster on your claims, you have to handle phone calls from your insureds and from your manager, not your assistant. And there's a million other reasons why you want your laptop close at hand during the day. Whether that damage is sudden, like spilling coffee on it, or it's gradual, like being exposed to an entire summer's worth of riding in the car, high temperatures, and getting bumped every day in your computer bag, your computer will break down and need to be replaced a lot sooner than it would if it just sat on your desk and was never moved at all. Which means that like most of your tools, you must consider your computer to be semi-disposable. If you spend most of your time doing field claims, daily or cat, you should expect to replace your computer every two, maybe three years. So do not spend $4,500 on a computer that's going to get ruined in the field. Bottom line, your computer is a work tool and if you like to game or have a nice powerful machine to do video editing or Photoshop stuff or if you're a web developer on the side, whatever, do those things on a different computer. Do not wreck your nice 17 inch Dell Precision or $6,000 MacBook Pro by dragging it around town or the country. Get something that if it breaks, you can easily and cheaply replace it. I found three perfectly capable laptops at Costco for less than $1,000. And you know what? It is absolutely true that I personally advocate for getting your hands on the highest quality tools that you can, but for laptops, even the most expensive machines are just too fragile for sustained field use, which is what you're going to be doing with it. And besides, Xactimate is not a hugely resource intensive program like a graphics or photo editing app, so you simply don't need all that extra horsepower to run claims. Coming up, will a mouse really help you be faster in Xactimate? Finally, don't forget, Adjuster TV is fully qualified by Xactware to teach you Xactimate. Join one of our Xactimate certified trainers on our next live online class where you will work through level one and level two concepts and take the exam on the final day so that when you're done with the training, you will be certified. Again, these are live online trainings and seating is limited and they go fast. So sign up now at adjustertv.com slash prep. As a special bonus, you will also learn Xactimate Mobile. Prove that you're an expert at Xactimate, the leading property estimating software at adjustertv.com slash prep. All right, that's it for me. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm. Adjuster TV. Bad decisions make good stories.